Well, hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming. If you are brand new to my channel, my goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or both sometimes watching a specific film. So today, the movie that I'm reviewing is called Gray Matter. This sci-fi thriller is now streaming on HBO Max. It's rated TV 14 and is an hour and 27 minutes long. My overall movie review mom grade is a B minus. So let me explain why. I'll point out uh, things that I like, things I don't like. I'll wrap everything up in a nutshell, uh, along with themes worth talking about, interesting lines, funny lines, if there are any, and I'll give you some recommendations for some other films. Alrighty, so let's dive in. In a nutshell, the story is about Aurora, a headstrong teenager with superhuman abilities that her mom is trying to help her learn to control. She wants to live in the real world, yet her mom doesn't think that she's ready yet. The movie tells us her ability is called psionic abilities, which allow her to read people's minds and move objects, among other things. The film was directed by Nico Winbush, and writing credits go to Philip Gallette. All right, so let me give you some tips for parents because kids, I think, are going to think that's pretty cool, the description, and because it's about a young girl. So there is some profanity. We see some bloody deaths, and we see several people die violently. There's lots of destruction as well. Some of the themes that are illustrated well are choices and consequences, hope, control, memories, morals, truth, and mother-daughter dynamics, which are augmented because of their superpowers that they both have, by the way. So there were a lot of things I really liked about this movie. For example, the two leading ladies did a terrific job, Jessica Francis Dukes and Mia Isaac. So if you got a kick out of the popular TV show called Raising Hope, then I think you're going to love seeing Garrett Dillahunt in this again. It's been a while since I've seen him in anything. He's been part of award-winning ensemble movies such as 12 Years a Slave and No Country for Old Men. So he knows how to pick the right movies. So what would you do if you had special psychic powers? Would you do good and help others? Or would you use them to, you know, get riches and power? Comment down below, honestly, I want to know. <laughs> the movie is connected to the HBO Max competition series called Project Greenlight. So have you ever watched that? I had never seen it before, but now I'm super curious. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon have produced previous seasons of that show. There's talk of astral projections and teleportation and mind reading also in the movie. Now, with all of that interesting and positive praise, there were just a couple of things that I thought maybe could have done better, uh, that I would have liked better. For example, when two of the characters talk about plots in books, one of them says the simple plots are the best. And this movie's plot is very simple. Some might even say it's boring. Not that much happens. It's hard to feel super invested in these characters, uh, partly because we have a bratty teenager who's disobedient to her mother. And then we have this mother and we don't know that much about her other than she's quite controlling over her teenager. At the very beginning of the movie, we see something happen and we're not sure who all is involved. We figure later on it's probably the mom, and that's confirmed. Now, I don't think that that's a big spoiler, um, but there's a little bit of time flipping of going back and forth in time and even locations. There's a visual effect and a sound effect when they're using their thinking powers, you know, and it's a little bit cheesy, but I'm not sure how else you would portray that in a film, you know. There aren't very many actors in the movie, not that that's a bad thing, but it would have been interesting maybe to learn a little bit more about some of these other characters in a particular location. I know I'm being super vague because I don't want to have any spoilers. Anyway, I think that the, the script could have been massaged just a little bit more to make it even better, but I did enjoy it. I thought that the ending was interesting and it 
possibly could lead into a sequel. I'm just saying. Now, usually when I watch movies, I'm writing notes and I'm writing down interesting lines and funny lines simply so I can share them with you so you can get a taste for the dialogue. So I didn't write down any funny lines because it really is a serious drama. But here are a few interesting lines. You can see all of them at moviereviewmom.com. So the first one is the mom whose name is Isla. And she's played by Jessica Francis Dukes. And she tells her daughter many times, these abilities don't work unless you're in control. And so she homeschools her daughter because her daughter's not prepared for the world. And we think that it's just because of the powers, but we find out it's also something else. So not to give you a spoiler, but just so you know. And then this is another line that has to do with plot where the mom says, life doesn't have a plot, you know, as they're having this conversation about plots. Mom, who's also named Isla, I'm kind of giving a bunch of her lines. She also says, power has a way of diminishing choices. And I thought that that was a really interesting line. And we see it illustrated when the daughter doesn't have a lot of power yet or isn't able to control it. And so she's sort of losing the ability to choose certain things. And then we also see when powers are greater that you have the ability to make more choices. Anyway, just kind of an interesting theme and lesson. She tells her daughter, of course, choices matter and they do. And so do consequences. And in this movie, there are some consequences that we see, but then some of them are also kind of pushed under the rug a little bit. So Derek, who is played by Garrett Dillahunt, asks the question, what is a human without a conscience? And his answer is dangerous. And so there's a lot of talk of morality. What is right? What is wrong? What is best for the individual? What is best for the community? So some interesting conversations that you can have with people that you watch this movie with. Um, all right, I want to spoil and give you any of the other lines, but if you're dying to know, you can go to my website. All right, so let me give you a recommendation for two movies that I instantly thought of while I was watching that, this movie. So the first one is called Push. And well, I don't want to do give you two spoilers. These are older movies. So it's not like, you know, I would be giving you a total spoiler because they've been out for a long time. But the second movie is called Solace. They both have to do with psychic abilities and how people use them for good or for bad. So um, I think that that's a really interesting topic. Oh, and here's one more I just thought of, the movie Serenity. Uh, that one out of all of them, I think is a little bit more light. The other ones are a little bit more dramatic, I think. Anyway, let me know what you think of them. If you watch it, comment down below. And by the way, look in the description below and it'll give you some coupon codes and links to find the videos and to get coupons so you can watch them for free or just to save a few bucks if you watch them online. Thank you again so much for supporting my channel. Anytime you like and subscribe or comment down below, it spreads magical psychic fairy dust all over my YouTube channel, which allows more people to find it. And I appreciate that as I'm trying to get it to grow. And if you get a minute, run over to Instagram where you can find me as Movie Review Mom, of course, and also as Trina Voice, where you can see some of my books and my online courses and some of my other nonsense that I've got going on. All right. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.